Question 14 is about nonlinear graphs and then calculus. So you're given the equation of the curve up here and you're told it has an asymptote at x equals k. Asymptotes are lines that the curve doesn't cross and the curve doesn't cross them because those values are impossible. So what you're looking for is a value of x that the curve cannot take. Um, now you can go back and look at the equation and say which value of x won't work here, which value of x will give you a problem. Well any value of x can be squared um, but 2a divided by x, is there a value of x that you're not allowed to divide by? And if you're not sure there's kind of quite a big clue there in the question next to it. Okay, part b is the calculus part. So you have your function y is x squared over 2 plus 2a over x. Do not try to do calculus when you have x on the bottom of a time fraction style expression like this. Before you do anything, write it in index notation. So we've got the 2a. If you're not sure about this, write it as 2a times 1 over x. And then that's x squared over 2, the first part, plus 2a. And 1 over x is x to the power negative 1. And now do the calculus. Do not try to do calculus until you've written your expression in index notation. It's convention when you've got your answer to put it back into the notation you would normally use, um, but you don't need to do that. Sorry, just get rid of those. You don't need to do that, um, but it does make life a little bit easier. So write your function in that form first. Um, question C, uh, it says find the value of k. It tells you when x is 2, the gradient of the tangent to the curve is 0 0.5. So dy by dx is 0 0.5. I'm not going to give away your answer, but once you've worked out what dy by dx is from part b, you put it equal to 2 and solve it to find a.